My cancer survivor wife wanted a hall pass. My wife 51F and I 54M have been married since 2001 and together since 1999. She is the most intelligent, thoughtful, caring, loyal person I know, and I have always thought of myself as fortunate to have met and married her. She is, even today, aesthetically beautiful and men have told her this throughout our marriage. She has always shot them down. Earlier this year, she was diagnosed with uterine cancer, stage 1 and had a full hysterectomy. I was never concerned about the cancer, it was diagnosed early, dealt with quickly and she made a full recovery. I took time off work to look after her after the surgery and all seemed well. There were some to be expected emotional instances on her part and although I am not an emotional person, we dealt with them together. After her recover, she was insistent that we start living life to the fullest and took a 10-day trip to Europe, followed by a trip to Belize. We also have a trip to the UK and Spain slash Portugal later this year. I am fine with these things, building memories and crossing bucket list adventures off her slash our list. I also understand that these are a result of feeling fragile on her part. She also took up yoga, swimming and healthy cooking classes. I was fully on board until last week. Last week she came home from work and told me she wanted a hall pass. A one-time opportunity for her to have sex with someone else besides me. She said that since her cancer diagnosis her outlook on life has changed and she doesn't want to be handcuffed from doing things she wants do. She explained that there is this guy at her work that she has always had some attraction to. He is leaving the company and she will never see him again, so this is the perfect opportunity to sleep with someone else. She said that I could say no of course but that she would be mad slash disappointed at me for an indeterminate amount of time and that it would be confirmation of my male toxicity and insecurity. I don't consider myself to be toxic and if not wanting your wife of 20 plus years to have sex with someone else is insecure then I guess I am insecure. I told her that I appreciated her talking to me about this but approval via coercion is not approval. I also said that I do not appreciate her language in describing my, as of yet, unknown reaction to this very large issue that could affect the rest of our marriage slash life. I got up in the morning she basically said that she was sorry for putting such a large decision solely on my shoulders and that to help she was taking the decision away from me. She booked a hotel near where her coworkers are having a party slash send off for this guy and she would spend the night there, with him and hope that I would be here when she got back. That she would answer any questions I have about the night after it happened but not before. She will not tell me who he is or anything about him because she knows me too well and that I will dwell and obsess over him and that would make it too real for me, which is pretty accurate. Her POV is that the less I know the better which contradicts the offer to tell me anything I want to know after it happened. I think she knows I won't want to know slash ask anything or she simply will not tell me. Part of me thinks, at least she has been honest with me and she has been through a lot since finding out she had cancer so maybe I should just let it happen. I certainly have no concept of what she went through so I cannot dismiss how this affected her mental state slash outlook on life. Part of me wants to put my foot down and say this is not going to happen and deal with those consequences when they happen. Her BFF called me callous for even suggesting that I wouldn't let it happen, because I have no idea what she went through. I find it hard to believe that she is okay with the possibility of throwing away 20 plus years of marriage over some guy that she has had no relationship with outside of work and that I should just call her bluff. Maybe she thinks similarly that I won't throw away the marriage because of one encounter. I just don't know what to do. I empathize with her and then an instant later I am angry with her. Part of me wants to know who this guy is? What does he look like, what has he got that is so enthralling for her? Is he just a safe option? Is he married? Does his wife know? Would I be a callous a-hole for saying no? What can I do besides walking away? Update. I received a ton of advice that I couldn't possibly respond to. I do appreciate the people who took time to offer advice in the comments or via PM. It has been an exhausting couple of days. I was hoping that my opposition to her plans would give her pause, but unfortunately that did not happen. I said I am a hard no, and I am not sure how I will feel about you, if you go ahead with it. I was met once again with, this is for me, it will be one time, what can I say to help you deal with it, you'll get over it, we were meant to be regardless of the situation, remarks leading up to Saturday. She left Saturday, ostensibly to meet her co-workers, but in reality fugged the guy. I asked her to text me when she was leaving for the bar and when she did I asked her if she was really going to go through with this. After her response, I am not answering any more questions tonight, I will see you tomorrow. I blocked my wife. Then I did something either stupid or brilliant. I went to the bar where the get-together was happening. Well not the bar but a transit bench across the street. I waited for a long time. It was running through my mind the leading up to this event, that I need to know who this guy was, maybe to compare myself against him. To see what he had that I do not. 
It was driving me crazy not knowing who he was and what was so special about him that she would ruin a marriage for. After what seemed like eternity, a woman that I recognized from my wife's office left the bar and got in a cab. Soon other people started filing out and a whole group came out and people were hugging a man and shaking his hand. I assumed that I had my guy. I didn't see my wife and had a brief thought that maybe she called it all off. I unblocked her and there were no messages. Everyone said their goodbyes and left, dude was standing outside for a few minutes and then my wife came out. She looked around, took his hand and started walking away together. Of all the emotions I went through, trepidation, sadness, anger, it was disgust that really encapsulated the event for me. This guy was short, fat, and bald, all the things I cannot compete with. Ultimately, I felt like a perv for watching from a distance. I followed until they got to the hotel, and then turned around and went home. I woke up Sunday morning and put a lock on the master bedroom door. I moved her things to the spare room and left a note asking her to find other accommodations as quickly as possible. I visited another friend who is a lawyer and he gave me some sage advice and a couple of recommendations for divorce attorneys and made the introductions. My wife had been calling me numerous times since around 11 or so. Once blocked the calls go to voicemail. I listened to the first couple but felt nothing but some satisfaction when she couldn't get through to me and she was obviously becoming concerned. I didn't want to go home but I left in such a hurry that I didn't plan an overnight properly. I got home around 9 and as per my buddy's advice, I recorded the interaction. I was halfway up the stairs when she came up from the family room asking what was going on? Could we talk? I thought we talked about this. I just answered with I am not interested in discussing this tonight and went to bed. After not getting a response from me through the door she left me alone. I feel kind of like a child for not talking with her and shutting the door on her but I just couldn't look at her. Monday I got up and ready for work, she was waiting for me and asked if we could discuss getting back to normal. I said, you have been doing all the talking for the both of us for the last week, why don't you continue and left for work. I have an appointment with the attorneys my friend recommended for this week.